And of course what people are so stupid is they don't realise that the money's just printed on bits of paper. So why are we paying it back? Why is there debt? And if they paid the bankers all this money, why can't we just create money to uh, pay for schools and things like that? And The city might be on the up, but the real world hasn't had it so bad since the post-war years. Also this lunchtime, they don't need many pickets. Union officials say the postal strike is solid across Britain. Longer stoppages to come next week, because post office management still refuses to go to ACAS for talks. I've been on YouTube, it's rainstorm, and it's official that basically we are now in the biggest recession ever in recorded history, and definitely since the Second World War. Um, I would have recorded the rest of the news piece, but unfortunately I have problems with copyright issues. So that's why I haven't used proper music in my videos. And that's why I've only added a little snippet of the news thing, because I just get um, uh, banned from YouTube again. But anyway, the official figures are basically saying that it's a sixth quarter drop. And basically, we're not going anywhere. The banks have recovered. Hmm. All that's happened is... The people in charge who are corrupt, who have been bought out years ago, the puppets in charge, Gordon Brown or Cameron, doesn't matter who it is, um, essentially control us. And they gave the money to their friends, the banks. But when it comes to us, the people, no, we'll have to have cuts. Sorry, we can't afford it, we'll have to have cuts, we'll have to have cuts. And of course, what people are so stupid is they don't realise that the money's just printed on bits of paper. So why are we paying it back? Why is there debt? And if they paid the bankers all this money, well, why can't we just create money to uh, pay for schools and things like that and all those things? But now, of course, they won't because they give the money to the rich and they keep the people, us, basically, they want us to be served. They want us to be enslaved with them with, you know, pretty much 55, 60% tax on your total earnings. For what? I mean, what are you getting out of society for the amount of tax you're paying and the lack of freedom you have in this common law country? Um, the other thing was the fall of the republic came out uh, a couple of days ago so if you haven't watched that it's just been uploaded onto youtube and i'll add a, add a link as well and uh, it's quite a good alex jones one this, one this time because he's not being sensational he's more of a documentary so he's being more factual and more um, uh, just truthful and rather than being a typical american who's brash and loud he's just trying to be more like a professional uh, you know uh, film producer so that is a lot better and i think it um, puts into clarification what's going on and when you watch it most of the things you if you're interested in Alex Jones or the conspiracies or truth the movement or anything like that you'll know most of it but it's good because it puts it down in layman's terms that you can uh, show to other people uh, your friends or your family or whoever um, rather than trying to bombard them with all this information uh, I think that video is good for putting across the point of what really is going on um, and there's supposed to be another one I think it's called Oh Canada and that's supposed to be a Canadian um, type of uh, zeitgeist so it'd be interesting if anybody's going to make one for Great Britain we need one for England we need one for the UK um, we need a sort of zeitgeist similar sort of thing but using our people so people recognize it okay so this is uh, Rainstorm's blog today about officially we're in the worst recession ever and that is on the TV so you know make of it what you will uh, jobless recovery people have got no money and gold's going through the roof and it's not coming back down is it it's a 1060 at the moment and it's stabilising up there. So it's not like it's pushed up and come back down again. So I think we can accept that gold's just going to go through the roof now. Um, and of course people are also worried about this uh, war in Iran um, because they're supposed to be doing some uh, testing manoeuvres or something. The Americans um, are supposed to be doing tests and people are worried as well that um, when the Twin Towers happened they were doing tests as well. And that's why NORAD didn't pick it up. So there are, people are a bit worried about that. But I don't know. I think this thing could eke out for a little bit longer. But I do think that you have to be prepared and I think you have to start storing your food and your money, which is gold and silver, not your fiat currency, real money. Not fool's money, which is fiat currency. That's a fool's money. Um, and we've all been fools and I've been a fool as well. And of course they've deceived us. We were all in the same boat. So it's about time we stop arguing amongst ourselves and we look at the real issues, um, which is this fiat money control manipulation of society, social engineering. Um, 
Okay then, this is Rainstorm, signing off. Thanks.